This is an Auto Trail F-Line F62. It's a sub six meter vehicle. It's three and a half tons. So you can drive it on a driving license. It's a nice compact machine. What's great about it is that they've deliberately specified this just for two people. So seat belts for two, sleeping for two, and what that means is there's no compromise in terms of trying to cram too much into it. For two people, it's brilliant. The interior, in particular, on this, is a really nice layout for a couple to do some serious touring with. We'll take a wander around the outside first of all, and then we'll go in and have a look. But on the outside here, you've got things like 240 volt power hookup. So if you're in a site with 240, you can get 240 straight into it. You've got a uh, water filler here. That's for your LPG tanks, of course. That's the cassette for the toilet. And if you come on around to the back, We've got the pre-mounts for a bike rack and there's also a reversing camera. You can just see it underneath the brake light just up there. But yeah, nice compact vehicle. There's a couple of storage areas on the outside as well on this one. So this one here, for example, it just gives you somewhere to put things on the outside, which is rather nice. I so say dirty boots, that kind of thing can all go in there. And in fact, there's another one. That one there is um, for the LPG. So you can plug a barbecue in, which is rather neat. And it'll run the LBG tanks. This one here then is another. Can I do this one handed? Very nearly. Hang on. <laughs> right. I'm not going to be defeated. Here we go. There we are. So another very helpful storage area there. Um, power cables, that kind of thing. Really good when they get dirty to not bring them into the vehicle. Nice colour scheme with the. Uh, the sort of silver grey cab and then the white body smart looking machine let's head on inside we've got the bin on the inside of the door and we've got a step that powers out if you plug that little button there there it is and this is what I mean about how it's a really nice no compromise interior for two people they've not tried to get extra forward facing seating in so you've got a really great lounge area here and if you come right on forward based on the Ford chassis automatic transmission on this one it's a two litre diesel engine it's 130 horsepower we've got the um, navigation system here that's also the display for the reversing camera I think I'm right in saying and if we come on back then you've got the big opening hatch up here so plenty of light plenty of ventilation there's night screens that come across like this there's bug screens that come across this way, so you can have that open and not let the bugs in. Some neat lighting, look at the way they've lit up underneath all these little areas. Down underneath here, you can see it on this side as well. It's really rather nice. Little reading lights tucked away, you can see those up here, like so. And again, with a nice inbuilt lighting, works really well. Storage is up in places like this. Now this, I think I mentioned, will convert to a double bed, and that happens by simply sliding that one there out like so. You can see how that drops into place. And that gives you a double across here. But look how spacious this is. As I say, it is a sub six meter vehicle, and yet, because they've not tried to get too much in, it works brilliantly. That's for a TV, of course. And in fact, you've got an aerial socket for it up there as well. There's more storage then over here and more funky lighting up in places like this some nice headlining in here as well it's done a nice job with this more ventilation over up, uh, uh, i'll try it again <laughs> more ventilation overhead and then back here because you've got this as your lounge area that's all given over to your kitchen and your toilet so again a really good size for a sub six meter vehicle it's going to have a look first of all big hanging locker here look at this it's a really, really good size, isn't it? That's a windscreen cover in there and a few other accessories. And then shelving down underneath. And then the next one along is the loo. There we go. Switch the light on. Perfect. So toilet is there, sink is there, but what's great is an actual proper separate shower again i know i keep saying it but it comes back to that thing of not having to compromise by not putting too much into the vehicle so that's given more space for things like that and that gives you some really nice 
home from home luxuries like having a separate shower there you can see there's these doors that come across if we unclip that little fellow there we might be able to do it there we are and it means when you come out of the shower you've got a dry area to step into rather than it being a wet room i think that's brilliant little sink in there as well obviously a little bathroom cupboard for your toothbrushes and your toothpaste is just there and then this whole back section on this side is all the kitchen so you've actually got some pretty decent work surface you've got this area right back into here you've got the lids on these these of course lift up when you want to use them three burner gas hob oven underneath and the fridge is over here like so that one there is the table it's a freestanding table you can see that slides out like this so that you can of course put it between those settees further forward but also you can put it outside put a couple of deck chairs around it and you've got an outside picnic area very nicely done a bit more storage tucked away down there a lot more storage tucked away down there in fact that one there is a um <laughs> There's a word for that. I want to say crockery, but it's not crockery, it's cutlery. That's a cutlery drawer. There we go. It's been a long day. Yet more storage down there, gas taps, that kind of stuff. And finally in this area, well, not quite finally, because there's yet more storage up here. Look at this. Quite deep as well. This would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Two people heading off around Europe. Fantastic. Or around the UK or around wherever they want to go. Control panel then is up here. So this is switching for your water system. Your lights are switched from here. And you can also monitor. So we click on that one there, the uh, battery voltage, uh, water tank, uh, levels, fresh and waste. All that kind of stuff is all monitored from there. And then this one is the heating and the hot water controls. And they will heat, I believe I'm right in saying, from the gas or from the 240. And then finally, Bit more storage there they've used to be in not they fridge did i mention the fridge <laughs> if i did you've got it twice there we go that i think is about it I like the splashback they put on here like so all these windows open so you can get loads of ventilation to here and these all have blinds again so at night it's really easy to close it all up and cozy it all up but look at that that's great isn't it a lot of motorhome within a very small footprint brilliant these seats of course spin around we've got one spun around to show you how that works but you can probably figure that out for yourself and again they've got the armrests that drop down on both of them as well so very comfortable when you are traveling and i'm going to sit in this one and i'm going to say massive thanks to dolphin motorhomes i'll put a link to those guys in the description they've organized this tour they've got this one for sale and huge thanks of course to you all for watching we will catch you on one of these real soon take care Bye bye